I mean, it's, it's flat out. Oh, Ooh, that's Phil goodness, Bloom. Me. He's lost his rear aerofoil before the incident coming down into the heavy braking area at the back straight. And he's careered into Will Hardeman. Will Hardeman. What a race he's had. This is going to be a safety car. The full course yellow is out. Huge, huge impact. That, I am sure, was as a result yep. of Phil Bloom being clipped by the spinning car. Probably didn't realise. He'd lost his aerofoil. Exactly, exactly. And possibly brakes as well. That's he might have just clipped something. There's that car. Well, we'll be looking to see that car again this weekend, the 19 car. That is such a shame for Mo Speed and Will oh. Hardiman at his home race. I am absolutely positive that that is as a result of that clip contact between himself and Andrew Long when Andrew was spinning after hitting those big curbs on the inside of turn two. Well, the good news is that the door has just opened and closed from driver input on the 19 car. And it's quite remarkable that the car could, the car door could open and close. The safety cell has absolutely done its job there, Jeremy, with heavy impact. Uh, I, I'm pretty certain that wasn't a mistake from Will, and that that was as a result no. of mechanical failure. He came into the end of the straight at pretty much unabated speed. The right motorsport car, by the way, does not look any better for Phil Bloom, the man from New York. That was the car that was spinning, and, and Will Hardeman was just turning into the corner, kind of minding his own business at that point. I think so. He, he he wouldn't have even seen that car coming from behind. Yes, exactly. I, I believe. Exactly right. No fault on Will there at That's all. A great shame. He was an innocent bystander, and it was Phil Bloom who'd had that uh, right hand side contact, uh, a dent in the front wing. But I think the contact that did the damage was further back. It probably just clipped the rear wing and possibly did some more issues. Phil Bloom is out of the. Right Motorsport car getting into a very different kind of Porsche. The Porsche Cayenne just broke in the world record for towing. So coming down, ah, the there rear wing's the wing. gone long, be, uh, long before the braking area. And at that point, the rear end of the car is light, right on the brow where you come over the top, you're braking just on the top of that brow. And at that point, it just goes to prove, Jeremy, doesn't yeah. it? Just how much aer uh, uh, aerodynamic downforce that rear wing is, is giving these cars. You're absolutely right, John, it does. And, and absolutely nothing that either of those two drivers could have done in that instance. I mean, uh, he, he was fine down the straight. The wing was attached all the way down the straight until just before the braking aero. Really good, pretty just as it got on the brakes. Oh, and the aero, force, uh, uh, aero downforce gone for the rear of the car. It just swaps ends. Nothing he could do. And poor Will Hardem is just in the wrong place at the wrong time. There's a nod of the head from Will. Uh, from from Bloom. I thought I saw him already getting into the car there. But I think he's got out again. He swapped. Porsche off this time. Cayennes, this time he's got his uh, helmet off. Yeah, the Cayenne, um, two Cayennes were sent out from Porsche GB uh, at the weekend, and on Monday turned up at Paris Orly Airport, completely unmodified, with standard tour hitches, one Turbo S, one diesel uh, Cayenne S, and uh, both pulled an Air France A380 Airbus 42 metres out of a hangar with a standard tow hitch on and no modifications, because, because you can, right. because you can. So getting a rather cheesed off racing driver into it is uh, not going to be a problem. Now, are they gonna put both the drivers in the same car? Yes, but probably not both in the back. Oh, well, the docs had a look at Phil Bloom. And uh, slides across. As Will Hardiman, I'm sure that Phil will be saying, sorry, mate, absolutely nothing I could do there. That's going to be a long night of work for Mo Speed and Wright Motorsport. Ouch, ouch, oh, ouch, that's ouch. so sad, isn't it? To I don't see think that car's coming back no, this weekend. I don't think the 19's coming back. I think we'll be looking to see the 11 as well. Yeah, and the, the first round of the season at Sebring, the car of... Uh, Victor Gomez was written off as well in an incident not 
dissimilar to this, although it wasn't caused by a, a wing falling off. There's a good and a bad part to this. There's a good part is that it hit on the back of the car, which dissipated a lot of energy. And the... That's the, where all the expensive bits are, though. Well, yeah, but from the driver's point of view, uh, the, the driver sells, the doors have opened, everybody got out. Yeah. The bad point is that that is where the expensive bits is. It was... Uh, yeah. It was, uh, they're just looking at that replay of the first corner, and, and uh, Andrew Long got into the back of Will Hardman, in deep into the braking zone, turned him sideways, uh, and then uh, there was sort of you know, mayhem behind them. Look again, the, the blue and black car nose to the inside. A great move that was, though, by Trenton Esther. Yeah. To, uh, he did get Corey the lead Ferguson for a moment, didn't he? Corey Fergus came back into turn two, and, he, and what happened there, of course, was Trenton Esther gave the inside up to uh, Corey Fergus, which allowed him to get back through. Then there was all kinds of mayhem going on behind, which saw the 99, the 42 get around. And they were just missed by a couple of cars and then just missed each other. Uh, that being the, the 99 of Alan Mentney and the 42 of Bill Smith, both local. But then the big accident down at the back of the back straight for those two the 19 and the 11. This view here is that, that's a, that is a very, very high speed accident. Again, what it tells me is that rear wing isn't just there for a bit of show and to push the car around in the paddock, Jeremy. Because when that a rear wing disappeared and it took off part of the rear deck as well, which has also got an aerodynamic effect on the, the 991 RSR, um, it's the back end of the, of the car, you actually saw it lift up. It was starting to spin long before, really, he put any lock into it. The car was already gone. He was 